I have Windows 11 installed on my Steam Deck. As of now, Xenia is buggy and underperforms on the Linux based Steam OS as compared to Windows. Now, I have already uploaded a tutorial video showing how to set up Xenia on Windows, that too for Red Dead Redemption. For the purpose of setting up the game on my Steam Deck, I followed the same instructions except for the part where I enable vSync from NVIDIA's control panel. That's not possible on Steam Deck. Instead of that, I'll be applying a 30 FPS cap using Steam Deck tools. We'll also be using Steam Deck tools controller in order to emulate the Xbox 360 controller. So first, let me just quickly show you the setup of Xenia. I'll be using its scanry build. It's basically a fork based on the master build of Xenia. It supports the application of patches. In this game, you'll be getting better performance using the scanry build. So I'll give the link to this page in the description of this video. Just download the latest scanry build experimental. Click on the .zip file. I've already downloaded it. I should not have clicked it. So just go to the downloads folder. There's the file. Compress file. Double click it. We need to extract these two files. I'll just create a new folder in the C drive of my Steam Deck internal SSD. I've already created it. Named it as Xenia RDR. You can name it anything you want. It's blank. So I'll extract the contents of them later here. There's the page. Two files. And just select them both. Drag and drop them here. That's it. It's as simple as that. Now I'm going to make them later portable so the game's configuration files are stored in the root directory of Xenia. Just right click in the blank area. Then click on show more options. Or you can just click on new. Click on text document. Just type in portable. That's it. Now just launch Xenia can rebuild. Click on more info run anyway you can close them later and there's the configuration file just open it notepad we will be sticking with the default 1x resolution that is 720p so just click on edit here find type draw found the resolution setting Draw resolution scale X, draw resolution scale Y, both are set to 1, 720p resolution, if they are set to 2, resolution will pump up to 1440p, you don't want that on Steam Deck, it's not powerful enough, now make sure VSync is disabled, by default its value is set to true, need to change it to false, now we need to make sure patches are enabled and just type in patches apply patches to that's it save the changes click on file save you can close the text file now it's time to download the patch for the game this is my own video in the description of this video i provided the link to the patch file download Xenia patches just click on it here you can see all of the patches for the games just search for Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year Edition Disk 1 there it is just click on it you can see the name of the patch file here we need to download this file right click on it now just click on download download started it's done just a small file there it is right click on it copy it will be in your PC's download folder Go back to the root directory of Xenia emulator. Right click in the blank area. Click on new. Click on folder. And name it as patches. P-A-T-C-H-E-S. That's it. Open this folder and paste the patch file here. Now let me just apply a few patches. Open the text file. Here. I'll. Enable this patch. Unlock FPS. Change this value from false to true is underscore enable scroll down we'll be enabling a performance increasing patch 
360p mode change the value from false to true description has been provided internally renders the game at 360p resolution and upscales to 720p certain objects and terrain will exhibit a regular pop-in so in order to reduce the jagginess i'll be using amd's fsr ai upscaler we'll be using another patch skip intro change it to true click on file click on save close it now we are ready to run the game but before that we need to emulate xbox 360 controller on windows sometimes i use SWICD, sometimes i use steam deck tools controller it's entirely up to you in this video i'll be using the latter i have already shown you how to install both of these applications in my windows 11 guide link to that video will be given in the description of this video all of the steam deck tools are running in the background as you can see from here power control performance overlay steam deck fan there's the steam controller just right click on it let me just show you its settings here i'm using these settings ignore steam enable just click on settings this is the profile that i'm using x360 rest of the settings are left as this here i have mapped the L4 and R4 back grip buttons of Steam Deck to L3 and R3 buttons of Steam Deck controller. I don't like pressing the sticks. That's why I just use the back grip buttons. This is optional, entirely up to you. You can map the back grip buttons to any other buttons of Steam Deck controller. You can even map them to keyboard controls, as you can see just close the settings my controller was not working as i forgot to change the profile from here x360 it was set to desktop that's it with the settings xbox 360 controller will be emulated now just make sure steam application is not running in the background so let's start them later from here i'll be enabling amd's fsr just click on display then click on post processing settings MSI Afterburner software is running in the background so it's already showing us the overlay from here make sure AMD FSI is selected using the default value for FSI sharpness 0 0.200 and from here I've enabled anti-lazing FXAA normal quality you can disable it if you want but this will make the game look ugly pixelated close it now we need to select our game ROM click on file click on open navigate to the directory where you have placed your game rom so just select it then click on open go in full screen mode click on display select full screen 